Yard, A U V A R D. Is it total proper name? Arbard. 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 Yeah. And, and I've always just called this the weighted speculum. But your book gives you your full name in there. Okay. What are you going to use this for? Retract. Retract. Which end? The bottom. The bottom. The bottom. What's that called? Posterior. Yes. yes. We start. Right. We got to start using those words. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Superior. Posterior. Okay. okay. So posterior. Okay. Okay. So what are we going to use this in for? For the um, the opposite side. For the inferior. <laughs> <laughs> for the inferior. <laughs> superior. So superior, superior, but most often sidewalks. But you can use it superior. What's this one called? Right. Or any retractor. Okay. Both names. Okay. You see they're a little smaller than this. This is a really large pile of forceps. They're usually a little shorter than this, and the jaws aren't quite so big. But you know it does you notice it doesn't ratchet. Okay? Why? Because it's made just to go in like a scissor and just grab on and pull out. We don't want to crush what we're taking out, so we can't ratchet it. Okay? We don't want to crush it. We want to just take out this polyp. What? Where do polyps, polyps form? On the mucous membrane. On the mucous membranes. Okay? So, they're part of the mucous tissue, so they're going to crush easily. Okay? Bozeman. What's the full name? Bozeman, Bozeman. 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 Bozeman Uterine Packing Forces. Okay? Okay, and it says it right there. Okay? Um, they come straight also? Straight and curved? This is a curved one? Okay. I've usually seen the curve most often. Okay? Um, you do an A&P repair. Everybody remembers what that is? Okay? You want to pack it to make sure all the tissues stay and create pressure for hemostasis. But two reasons that you're going to do that. It also absorbs any blood that you're going to be having. Okay. Single tooth tenaculum. That's all I'm interested in. Not the other names. Because there's too many. But nobody ever says that's Schroeder Braun. They're either single or double tooth tenaculum. We don't have a double. Just a single. Okay. Um, okay. Jacob's tenaculum can be used in place of this one. What are you going to do with this one? Grab the cervix to manipulate it out of the way. Okay. Grab the cervix. You can also grab the uterus with this when they do mm -hmm. a hyster. Okay. Mm -hmm. You won't grab the uterus with this if you're going to keep the uterus. Okay? This is only for removal. We aren't, we're not putting holes in the uterus. <laughs> if we're going to leave it in. Okay? It bleeds a lot. Okay? So, this is for what also? It's a tenac, right? Yeah, same so thing. So, you can grab the cervix with this also. Okay? Okay? These are? What's another name? Another name. Snap. Okay. Okay. You need all the names. Okay? when you list this, all the names, okay? You know what a long alice is, short alice is, you know what this one is? Charged and blunt, okay? Graves. Graves? You need the, all the names for this. Graves, vaginal, speculum. Graves, bivalve, vaginal, speculum, nickname, duckbill. Okay? Okay? Got it? Okay, they're all listed here. Mm-hmm. So that's built in too. Okay. One-ended sims. They do come double-ended. One end will be larger than this end. This is used for what? Vaginal, right? Yeah. Okay. So superior vaginal. Okay. So this is on the posterior. This is superior. Okay. And if it was doubled as a uterus, it would just double. It's just double. different size uteruses, uh -huh. okay. or different size vaginas, mm -hmm. or age. A young girl's going to have a smaller one. Young girls have problems also, right? Mm -hmm. So you're younger, you've never had a child, all those things are going to make your vagina smaller than somebody else's, okay? If you've had ten children, okay? Okay?
Okay. What are you going to do with this? Measure. Measure what? No, no, not the cervix. The uterus. The uterus. The uterus. The uterus. Want to make how big the uterus is. Okay. Uterus Notice that there are calibrations on there, right? Yeah, yeah. And it is what? Malleable. 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 Okay. You can bend it to the shape of the uterus. If the she can tell by the physical exam that it is retroverted uterus, she may bend it down because that's the way which way your uterus goes. Okay. She wants to follow the back. Okay. These are sims, carrots, uterine. Curettes. Okay? Different sizes for different size uteruses. If you're four months pregnant, your uterus is bigger. You're going to need a larger curette. They come sharp and dull. Okay? And this one? Okay, so what are you going to do with this one? Scrape what? They can scrape the uterus, but this would be a very, very small uterus. Okay? Cervical scrapings, okay? <coughs> cervical scrapings. Remember, your cervical scrapings on this is like a radical pap smear. Remember, you have an internal and external os for the cervix. So the, in between the two is your cervical canal. When they do a pap smear, they can't go all the way up in there. You're not going to stand for that, okay? Or you're not going to lay down for that, <laughs> okay? That's a better term, okay? Okay? What are you going to do with these? Then it's the cervix. Okay. Okay. The other two. Hanks. Hanks and. Pratts. Pratts. Hanks and Pratts and Hagar's. Those are the most commonly used ones. Okay. So. So. They're in your book. If you don't, if you don't get it, they are in your book. Okay. They're all listed in your book in the GYN part.